Welcome to Newsletter Guru TV, your show with a boatload of smart marketing and business building advice and a little fun along the way. This episode of Newsletter Guru TV is brought to you by Decide, the ultimate success trigger. There is unquestionably something that triggers high levels of success for some entrepreneurs, while others simply struggle to even break six figures. It's the ability to decide. When faced with a challenge, situation, opportunity, or anything else that requires a commitment to do one thing or the other, when a decision needs to be made, some entrepreneurs freeze, or many more simply postpone the decision to a later date and that leads directly to Squishyville. Decide, the ultimate success trigger will get you comfortable growing a more profitable business faster. Get your copy today at www.decideforsuccessbook.com. That's www.decideforsuccessbook.com. Hey everybody, Jim Palmer, the newsletter guru and your dream business coach. As always, I'm committed to helping you build a more profitable business faster. And I am just enjoying a nice day off on my floating office and I wanted to share something with you especially with my fellow authors if you have written a book you know how hard it is how long it takes and things like that you are gonna appreciate the um, the compliment that I got just yesterday kinda had me floating a little bit this person said Jim I got both your paperback and the audio I was reading the paperback as I listened to the audio and I'm now on my second reading and I said your second reading said it was just they said it was that impactful several of the chapters one after the other they felt spoke to them which I mean that just lit me up I gotta be honest with you and I said so what was your favorite chapters or what had the most impact one of them was um, one of them was the part about social media and being your authentic self and then there was one about um, you know having the fear of being found out and just you know almost not deserving of success and I don't know how much I went into the whole deserving piece in the book so I'm gonna actually make that about this this uh, this week's episode of News at a Guru TV you know mindset is such a critical component of how much success you achieve so much more I mean so many people think you know look at you take your your God-given skill and talent, you, you get your work ethic, your drive, your ambition, your moral compass, and you put in some mindset and you stir it all up and that's going to really determine what kind of success you're going to have as an entrepreneur. And I don't think that's right. See, I think you got your God-given skill and your talent, your work ethic, your drive, your ambition, your moral compass, and that all stirred up makes up the engine, the machine that is your business. And what drives the machine of your business is your mindset so mindset is super critical so I want to share something with you today again I to be honest with you I don't know how much I went into this in the book so I think it's gonna be uh, this will be like a um, an addendum to the book but you know some people they get so much of their mindset formed certainly by their early early years like by age two by age four you've got a lot of stuff up there and um, you know some people you have to ask yourself a question do you deserve success do you feel in your heart and in your mind that you deserve success? And if that's true, is it possible? If you don't believe you deserve success, and if you don't believe success is possible, you're not going to achieve it. You have to know that w when you step up to the plate and you swing and you risk and you work and you, you sacrifice, um, that it is good it is good to be uh, become successful <clears throat> and there's no reason in the world you you should not feel entitled to that success and because you are entitled to that success and I'm telling you you are uh, success is possible you just have to do the right things one of the things I think a lot of people not a lot of people I shouldn't paint with such a broad brushstroke but some people um, they just are on a perpetual quest for the fast and easy route and really when you build a business when you get down to it and you risk and you work 18 hour days and you sometimes you you mortgage your house and you put a lot of things on the line you know that all goes into being successful and um, creating a successful business so you know you have to be willing to do the work I'm meandering a little bit so I think I'll wrap it up but I really want to share with you about the comment oh the one thing that she said uh, 
about authenticity was she said I've started doing videos because you said to do them Jim and says I felt a little awkward at first I felt stiff I felt I should be very professional but I don't see myself going quite the other way and just being loosey-goosey or have fun so I said you got to be who you are and I said by the way I don't see you as loosey-goosey but I don't also see you as very stiff and serious so you just got to find what's comfortable for you and by the way when you're when you're thinking about being authentic stop thinking about what am I going to do to be authentic just be your Yourself, you know what I mean just turn on the camera share some information do it in a way that's relevant so that if someone was sitting right next to you like your, your wife or spouse or husband or best friend or somebody they're going who is that you know said oh, there's there's Jim with his camera or there's somebody else with their camera and they're sharing something that's when you're gonna be your authentic self okay anyway I, I think this was a little meandering hopefully there was a nugget or two in there but you know what the big nugget of this let of this uh, episode is this week is you do deserve success and success is possible you just have to do the work and some of the things you got to do in the early years are not easy but do the work become successful and enjoy it because you do deserve it all right hey be sure to check out stick like Lou radio that's my weekly podcast it's the only podcast dedicated to helping you create an everlasting bond with your customers so they stay longer, spend more, and refer more. And those are all great things in your business, in any business. And be sure to check out Dream Biz Academy, Dream B-I-Z Academy. We are about a third of the way sold out. We still got uh, two months. We got uh, what about nine weeks left, and we're already a third of the way sold out. We will sell out. It's in beautiful Annapolis, Maryland, a great historic town. We're going to be at the Sheridan Super Nice Hotel. And um, I got a phenomenal room room rate for you. That's like 120 bucks a night out of Sheridan in Annapolis in October. Yes, that's a phenomenal deal. But you know, even though that's a good deal, you want to come to the event because I will teach you how to build your dream business. Got some phenomenal speakers, phenomenal speakers. Go check it out at dreambizacademy.com. Right now, we still have our lowest um, early registration discount. So go check it out at dreambizacademy.com. I think that is it. No, one more thing. Go do something nice for somebody today. One random act of kindness at a time. Really, really. How hard is that to do one random act of kindness? I was on my way to the boat. I was on my way down here to the boat. And for some reason, this little stretch of road was just super busy. And someone had their turn signal on. And I watched one car after another just inch up because they weren't going to let the guy in. And I hit my brakes, flashed my lights, and kind of said, go ahead. And, and, you know, he gave me the wave, which I always appreciate. <laughs> but, you know, how hard is it to do that? I know it's hard because sometimes I struggle in traffic, just, but anyway, do one random act of kindness at a time. The world's going to be a much nicer place. Until next week, another great episode of Newsletter Guru TV. I'm Jim Palmer, your host. I'm the Newsletter Guru always, but I'm also your dream business coach. Why? Because I'm committed. I'm committed to helping you build a more profitable business faster. You take good care.